So today, we have thunderstorms at 160 degrees with a 10% chance of cornflakes. So grab your umbrellas, because it's gonna get corny. Thank you, Nancy. And now on to news of the oil rig with Wilfred and Lola. They have a Bay article where offshore drilling goes to beaches suffer. The offshore drilling of the coast of Florida will negatively affect the beaches of the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Beaches where offshore drilling occurs are prone to having tar balls and empty oil drums wash up on them. Florida's beach tourist industry suffers when the beach is turned from pristine sand to this possibly seen in Texas beaches, which according to, to articles have turned into the trash cans of the Gulf. Not only are our oil rigs bad for humans and our white sandy beaches, but also for the but also for the beautiful sea dwelling creatures. It puts their it puts their lives at risk and their homes in chaos. Although some accommodations have been made to protect wildlife, such as the National Sanct Marine Sanctuary off of the Florida Keys, chemicals brought up from the oil rigs pollute the ocean, killing off exotic, exotic life. Pollutants such as arsenic and benzene uh, contaminate birds, fish, marine mammals, and sea turtles. Offshore oil rigs are exposed to terrible safety hazards that wood workers may not be able to avoid. For example, the BP platform explosion, which took place on April 20th, 2009. At least 11 rigging workers lost their lives. The oil that proceeds to spill in the Gulf contaminates the fish. And coming back to how it all affects us humans, contaminated fish can be a potential health hazard, such as seafood consumption. It hazards to our health. Thus concluding, this is why oil rigs are the point of Florida is a big no-no.